you might be up early right now because you, young person, have a summer job. So what is your goal? What are you saving for? Because Jennifer Westhoven may have the correct equation for you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks, Robin. Yeah, I think that maybe, you know, you think the paycheck's not very big. It's not your real job. But you can start saving now. I talked to a few people who are working hard this summer. So here's Phoebe. She's out there making her dream real. And listen for the planning for what you can do. My name is Phoebe and I'm majoring in sculpture at Georgia State. I work here at picnics this summer to save up for a month-long trip to India and for college in the fall. So Bead says when she goes to India, she's going to stay on the cheap, sleep in hostels, eat on streetcars. So she figures she can do this for just $40 a day, plain fare, and the just-in-case money, she needs $3,000. She's already got a thousand banked, so that means she's just got to save $100 a week for 20 weeks, and she'll be on her way. So if you've got a dream trip like that, don't keep it as a someday, maybe, mm, uh, write it down. How much is it going to cost you to go? Get a guidebook. Could you sleep in a coconut hut and not the Four Seasons? And then just stash a little bit of money away every week. I tell you, BB is going to have, by Christmas, she'll have her money goal ready so that she'll be able to go next summer. She won't have a summer job. She's going to be having fun in India.